to the Horniman Museum. My name is Graz and I'm the School's Learning Officer here. Um, this room is uh, one of our teaching rooms. It's the hands-on base and it holds our handling collection, which is a very, very special collection to us because ev absolutely everything in this room can be touched or can be played or tried on um, by everybody visiting the museum. Um, we open it during the week for school groups um, visiting. And then also on the weekends, we open it for family groups and community groups as well. And so this room houses lots of things from um, across the collections, but we've got quite a strong anthropology collection. So we've got lots of costumes, which you can see behind me here. We've got masks and puppets um, and things from all over the world that are used in everybody's everyday lives. We've also got lots of musical instruments here which children can actually play, which is always a fantastic opportunity for them and they really like making this noise, um, so that's good. And lots of natural history collections as well, which um, you can get up close and personal with crocodiles and shark straws and things like that, so that's good fun too. So when uh, a class comes into here, we sit them down on the carpet, um, and they obviously are fascinated about the room around them, so sometimes we get them to have a look around, see what they can spot. Um, and then my most often asked question is, what's behind this blue curtain here? So, I'm going to show you. This here is part of our huge puppet collection. We've got puppets from all over the world. You can see there's some string puppets from India, a puppet from Japan, Punch and Judy as well, so things that people might be more familiar with. And this is one of our sessions, Puppets from Around the World, that's booked by all age groups, so from the, the you know, nursery and reception children right up through to um, secondary school pupils doing puppet design and art and design subjects as well.